What's up everybody, welcome to another honest review video. Today I have this Fiquat FN970 PCIe Gen 4 NVMe drive and we are gonna talk about this. Well before I start the video there is one request. If you end up liking this video then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content. Oh yeah, I have left a link of this product in the description box below. Go ahead check the product but before that please watch through this video. Let's know about the product first, right? Let's start from pricing. Fiquat FN970 PCIe 4.0 M.2 NVMe costs less than 75 US dollars. Compared to many other top brands, it's 18% cheaper than those. Well, it's cheap and affordable, but what type of specification and warranty it comes with? Fiquat FN970 has 1GB DRAM for 1TB capacity, 2GB DRAM for 2TB capacity and 5 years of warranty which is the same as Crucial T500. But well, there is an advantage of using this Fiquat FN970 as this one comes with more TBW. Fiquat offers 700 TBW for the 1TB edition and 1400 TBW for the 2TB edition which is way more than many other the top brands and expensive SSD drives. Cheaper price, better warranty, wow that's a good start but how about the performance? Talking about performance, there is a thing I must mention. Fiquat has provided a very nice heatsink along with some thermal pads so we can use the heatsink when we need and we can also use the drive without the heatsink if it's not needed. The heatsink is a very good one, it has a simple yet effective design. I don't think you will have any issue to use the drive with most of the motherboards and yeah, it fits well inside PS5 too. I have two FN970 drives. I use one inside this mini PC. This is a i9 device. This one supports PCIe Gen 4 NVMe. So I use one inside this and I use another FN970 inside this NVMe enclosure. This is a Gen 4 enclosure and I get very high speed. Yeah, Fiquat FN970 is definitely compatible with all the Windows versions from 7 to 11 and it is also compatible with any MacBook, Mac Studio or Mac Mini through Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 port. I have tested a lot of PCIe Gen 4 NVMe drives on my Ryzen 9 7900 PC and wow, I'm really surprised. Well, let me quickly go through the unboxing and then I will quickly show you how to install a NVMe drive on a motherboard. Yeah, it's very easy. So let's quickly do that. Okay, let's start talking about the benchmarks. The first one I always run is PCMark 10 suit. Every time I test a drive, I run PCMark 10 suit. This is a test that imitates a serious and constant use of our system. This is an awesome benchmark for anyone looking for a new main drive or for anyone needs to run some applications that can be very heavy on the SSD, like editing videos. Fiquat FN970 has performed beyond my expectations. It is slightly ahead of Crucial T500 and Samsung 990 Pro. And it's definitely ahead of 980 Pro by a decent margin. Fiquat FN970 is comfortably ahead of Western Digital SN770. The next thing I do is I run a consistency test. Most of you may not use your drive in a very extreme multi-hour long workload, but sometimes we need to do that. So I needed to test how does this Fiquat perform under heavy load for hours after hours. This is a test where most of the other affordable drives fail. You can clearly see Fiquat has stood its ground and performed well. Yes, Samsung 990 Pro is marginally better, but Fiquat has performed better than 980 Pro and it has also done better than Crucial T500. I'm glad to see Fiquat FN970 is performing well enough. Look at the difference between Western Digital SN770 and this Fiquat FN970. Wow. Before you talk about gaming performance and other use case scenarios, I want to share two other test results. The first one is sequential performance and the second thing is 
thermal performance. Sequential performance test doesn't actually represent real life performance, but it is still a very useful thing for most of the people as brands use these numbers to promote their drives. Like this FN970, the brand claims that this one can go up to 7400 megabyte per second read and 7000 megabyte per second write speed. But can it actually deliver? Let's check. Yeah, it does perform similarly to many other Gen 4 top NVMe drives. It has managed to deliver 7000 megabyte per second read and 6600 megabyte per second write speed. Wow, that's cool. As it can achieve very high read and write speed, it is very suitable for gaming. It performs like a beast inside a PS5. One more time, this result is way better than Western Digital SN770 and Crucial T500. So yeah, Fiquat FN970 costs less but performs better. Let's talk about the thermal performance. Well, yeah, almost every Gen 4 NVMe SSDs do get very hot and you should always consider a heatsink with some airflow above it. But the thing is, FN970 doesn't get that hot thanks to the simple yet super cool heatsink. On most of the occasions, even under heavy load, it hasn't gone beyond 52 degrees Celsius with the heatsink. Yeah, if you're gonna put it inside a PS5, there is no airflow, so it goes a bit higher than 52 degrees Celsius, but that's even way cooler than many other, I mean, most of the other Gen 4 drives available on the market. And as I've already mentioned that I am using a Fiqua drive inside my mini PC. You know, inside a mini PC, there is a space limitation and we cannot use the heatsink, but most of the mini PCs actually comes with a heatsink with it. I mean, the back plate or the cover plate acts as a heatsink. Well, I don't know how Fiquat has managed this, but uh, temperature of this uh, Fiquat FN970 has never gone beyond 50 degrees Celsius even after a few hours of workload. Kudos to Fiquat. Okay, I know, you wanna know about this? Yeah, I have tested the gaming performance of Fiquat FN970. I ran 3 Merc storage gaming benchmark and you know what? This Fiquat FN970 is as good as a Crucial T500 and has performed better than Samsung 990 Pro. So, well, you can clearly see in different benchmarks, in different tests, different drives has performed better. Like in gaming, Crucial T500 is better than Samsung 990 Pro and in some other benchmarks, Samsung 990 Pro is better than Crucial T500. But one thing is very stable, like this Fiquat FN970, this one is always better than the others. It has offered very steady and stable performance through all the tests. That's all about this Fiquat FN970. I'm surprised by the performance and definitely I'm satisfied by the performance. I think I'm gonna buy a Fiquat FN950 4TB edition and then I will do a review on that cause that's the cheapest 4TB Gen 4 NVMe and yeah, that one also comes with a 5 years of warranty. Like this, Fiquat FN970. Don't forget that they also offer more TBW. We can write more terabytes on Fiquat drives than any other. Well, I have left a link of this product in the description box below. Go ahead, check the link. But before that, if you have enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content.